Hey, how's it guys? All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and import the uh, Northwind database to SQL Server. So the first step is we want to go to this uh, GitHub repository page, which I'll link the link in the description below. And on the repository page, we're going to see uh, three different scripts. And I want to click on the second script, which is going to be this uh, instnwnd.sql file. So the file size is about two megabyte. I want to click on download button to go into the script itself. And here's the uh, SQL script to create the uh, database. I'm going to use the key shortcut Ctrl S to save the script to my project folder. Now open your SQL server and open the uh, SQL script that we just downloaded. Now plus F5 to run the script to create the database. So the reason why I like to use uh, Northwind database for uh, different exercises is because uh, for one, the tables are much smaller. First, the other sample database, uh, which is the AdventureWorks 2019 database, which is going to have a lot more tables. But if I are someone who just want to learn SQL, if I'm a beginner, then it's going to be a little bit more overwhelming. So I would suggest that you start with the uh, Northwind database if you are new to uh, using SQL. And it looks like I've imported the database successfully. Let me open a new SQL script. I'm going to... Uh... So here this is that I already connect to the Northwind database. But here in my SQL script, I'm going to uh, specify down to connect to the database just in case. All right, so if I just do a simple query, select everything from let's do employees table. And I should get nine records from the employees table. So some of you guys might know that I'm actually uh, looking to go back to the workforce and I'm currently looking for data analytical uh, related jobs. So in the future videos, I might just focus on um, anything related to uh, data analysis or visualization, just an FYI. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.